Google Search Console, the new page experience report excluded by no index tag. So let's go and explore this now. I'm going to show you what to look out for and how to fix it if page indexing is showing this for the URLs that you want Google to index. So let's press on excluded by no index tag. Doing so, here it says, okay, here are the examples that when we try to request these web pages, we have seen no index directive. No index directive can be sent to Google search engine crawlers using various different methods, depending on the website and the content management system. Yeah. Always look at all submitted pages first. And if you have problems here, then obviously what happens with Google is it's getting confused. It's saying, okay, you know what? You've submitted pages to us through your XML sitemap. And at the same time, you're telling us not to index that page. So how can it then put that URL in its index? Make sense? So first thing to do is always look at all submitted pages. And if there are any not in Google because of no index tag, that's what you fix first. So now we understand that excluded by no index tag means this. Google visits a URL and it sees no index tag. What you can do is using Google Chrome, you can press on Ctrl U on your keyboard, bring out the source code. And you can press on Ctrl F and search for no index. And if you then see this, a meta tag that looks like this, I'll zoom in so that you see. So that meta tag is telling Google, you know what, Google, when you visit this URL and see this no index directive, what you're saying is do not place the content on this page in your index, Google. That's what you're saying. Okay, so that's one way to identify where that no index is coming from. Next. You can press on F12 on your keyboard to bring out web developer toolbar. Google Chrome has this, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, all the browsers, modern browsers have this option. And when you're looking at that, look at network tab, press on the refresh icon, select empty cache and hard reload. Let's do that. Here, find the web page that Search Console page indexing is having problems with. Let's press on that. And here, look at the headers. The response headers may include X robots tags, no index. I've actually generated that for this tutorial for you. Okay, so. That could be coming from .htaccess file. So, for most Apache servers, you can send header information, header response codes. So, that may be a file to triple check. That file resides on a web server, usually through cPanel. You can look at a file called .htaccess file. You can right click, view edit. You can do that through cPanel as well. And when you view it and you end up seeing any no index tags, then you know how that information came about. Okay. And then it's just a matter of removing that no index directive. 
So if it was coming from .htaccess file, you would locate that and just delete it because then Google won't see that next time it requests this web page. So that is how you identify if a given URL has no index directive. So then here in these examples for a typical WordPress site, I'm actually aware of this because as far as I'm concerned, tag URLs should not be in Google's index because they are just the placeholder URLs with no original content. So that means at this moment, I can inspect the URL in Google Search Console. In fact, you should maybe do that too, because doing so gives you additional insights as to why the page is not in Google's index. In this example, it's excluded by no index tag. You now know how Google may come across that no index tag, whether it's meta tags or whether it is through header response codes. So then you can press on the little arrow icon here. And here referring page means this is the URLs that Google has come across, as in Google's visited this web page, and somewhere within this, it has then seen a tag going to here, domain name API. So that was a link which was somewhere on this landing page. And it's probably this here. So Google has seen a link. That's what referring pages tell you. So search console URL inspection can be your friend because here you can see what Google sees. Indexing allowed? No, it is not because it has seen no index tag for this URL here. So that is how you remedy and fix pages excluded by no robots tag first identify which urls that google has seen no index tag by looking at the source code looking at robots meta tag and if you can't see one there then look at the let's take a look Let's look at this one. I'll show you the one that has that. Let's say Google Search Console. Now I can press on F12 on my keyboard. Press on Network tab. Empty cache and hard reload. Press on the web page in question that you're analyzing. And then here, response headers, you can analyze it to see if there is no index tag because if it is then you know that google is seeing that and you know how that may come come about if it's not within the source code meta tag then it's either coming from a php header response code i'll show you what that looks like as well so somewhere on the website this is what is generated through php and I've done that for this tutorial. So that is how you fix excluded by no index tag. Look at all submitted pages first, because I've already shown to you in the previous video as to best practices for fixing page indexing issues by ensuring the sitemaps are set up correctly. And then by looking at all submitted pages, if you have excluded by no index tag here, this must be fixed or else Google is getting confused. On one hand, it's saying, you know what? You've told us these are the web pages that you've submitted through XML sitemap. And when we're trying to access it and crawl it, we end up seeing no index tag. Make sense? So you either need to then remove 
the no index tag from those URLs or make sure the XML sitemaps do not contain those URLs. But obviously that wouldn't be smart because the XML sitemaps that you've submitted has the URLs you want Google to see and index. Excluded by no robots tag. All you do is look at the example URLs. Let's look at the next page. Let's go 50. Uh, let's say Googlebot. Furthermore, before I close up, you can actually test robots.txt because that's a bit tricky as well. Okay, I'll show you what that is. I don't want to confuse rank your fans because I like to keep the insights as simple as possible. But it may be the case, a file called robots.txt on a website may disallow Google to access certain URLs. That means Google may have seen a web page URL and then when it tries to access it, you're blocking it through robots.txt directives, as in disallowing Google. You can do that too. So the places to check, robots.txt file, make sure Google can see the URL so you can crawl and analyze. And then make sure you triple check meta tags through the source code of a web page. And if you cannot see any meta tags with no index directives, then use web developer toolbar, press on network tab, empty cache and hard reload, press on the page in question and look at the response headers. And if you end up seeing no index tag, then that shows you what the problem is. If you end up seeing X robots tag, no index, through the network option, then you know it is either a PHP header response code that is sending, as in your website is sending, or it could be through .htaccess file. Once again, you either remove the no index tag or you triple check the sitemaps. That is how you fix page indexing excluded by no index tag. Definitely check out Rank Your Blog and Rank Your YouTube channel because I will show you best practices for fixing page indexing problems as well as cover all the different issues. I thank you for learning with Rank Your and if you benefited from this video session and you'd like to see more Search Console related tutorials, please do give it a like to this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.